Like that's one where I was like, ah, I still have hard feelings about that one. Okay, so if there's one thing that runners like talking about more than actually running, it's running shoes. You know, the colorways, the squishy foams, the energy return, the heel drop, the whole deal. And no one captures that better than Kofuzi, one of the biggest shoe tubers on the planet. Now, before we get into our conversation about the one shoe that angered him more than any other, <laughs> let's start with the positive and talk about his pick for the best shoe of all time. It's a pick that might actually surprise you. So you're trapped on a desert island. Okay. You can only bring one pair of shoes with you okay. to run in. What shoe is that? Uh, if it's a desert island, then it's probably not paved. All right. So this it's is a desert island. A I always ask shoe. this question. Right. A desert island that happens to have a paved ring on the outside. Okay. If it's got a paved ring on the outside and only one shoe, yeah. right now it's going to be the Nova Blast 3. That shoe can do a little bit of everything. But any shoe, like old shoe, new shoe, current shoe, that's the best shoe you would say? Ever? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's my shoe of the year for this year. And in terms of like one shoe and only one, I think that's the one. It could do a long run. It could do a workout. Can, are there other shoes that do specifically long runs better? Maybe. Are there other shoes that do maybe specifically like workouts better? Maybe. But is there a shoe that can do everything better? I don't think so. So that's the one that I'm going to bring of all shoes. But you know, they say, I say nostalgia is the softest midsole. So if we're going to go with the nostalgia <laughs> pick, yeah. I'll probably pick the Peg 33. I would say shield, but if it's a deserted island, a desert island, it's going to be hot. So I don't need a shield version. But maybe it's a typhoon, maybe they get a lot of rain. So maybe this 33 shield, that's my sentimental favorite. Now, since our conversation, there have been a bunch of really high profile shoes that have been released and uh, shoes that Kofuzi has reviewed. And it's possible that his pick for the best shoe of all time has changed. But I will tell you with certainty that his pick for the most infuriating shoe and shoe release of all time, that is untouched. It's one of those shoes that's gotten scorned from every corner of the running community. Uh, take a listen. I hate to like throw people under the bus, but I do have a favorite gripe is, I mean, there's one shoe that I really didn't like, which was the Brooks Hyperion Elite One. It's a Everyone shoe- one didn't like that shoe. Yeah, well, and, and they released it in a really horrendous way. During the marathon trials, like February 29th, like it was a leap year, so February 29th, and maybe the trials were on Mark for something along those lines. It was a midnight drop of that shoe, $225, something like that. I stayed up late because the midnight drop is late for me. Stayed up late, ordered the shoe, and then I get to the marathon trials like 10 hours later, and Des Linden is wearing the next version of that shoe. <laughs> and I'm like, why would you do that if you're Brooks? You know, like, I don't understand. Like, there was no need for them to release that shoe under, even under the rules because Des Linden wasn't going to use it. Any, so I, I don't And then the shoe wasn't good either. And so, like, that's one where I was like, ah, I still have hard feelings about that one. Comments now. Stephen writes, I don't think I've ever read or heard a better for the layman description of the benefits of aerobic training than Kofuzi gives, starting at 310 in the last video I posted about uh, how Kofuzi improved his marathon training. You know, I think what makes Kofuzi so great, honestly, is the fact that he is a regular guy that has become this amazing runner. So he hasn't forgotten where he's come from, and I think that that's why he's able to speak in the way he does, because he's just like a regular dude. And, you know, a regular dude for the regular dudes. <laughs> that makes me sense. On the same train of thought, Jim writes, thanks to this video, I finally get the point of easy pace workouts. I know I do them too fast, but nobody's made it so clear to me why I shouldn't, so I've kept doing it. Well, now you know, Jim, and knowing is half the battle. Anthony writes, Kofuzi made running vlogs cool before anyone did it. He inspired me to start running marathons since 2018. You know, Kofuzi has inspired so many people, myself included, and if you like Kofuzi, you enjoy his videos, you are gonna love this next video, this final installment of the Kofuzi series, because this is the video we talk not just about running, but we talk about life, including the question that I've always wanted to ask him about leaving his job as a lawyer to do YouTube full time. 
Like, what is that conversation like with your family? Like, what do you what do you tell your wife? Hey, honey. So you know this lawyer job I've had for all these years. You know, I, I think I'm gonna just do the I'm gonna do the YouTube thing, the the YouTube thing. You know, the the computer YouTube thing. I also have a race coming up in like two weeks, and uh, my training has been a bit interesting. So we're gonna talk about that too. Uh, so I'll see you soon.